So we'll talk quite a bit about that theme of, of letting the symbols be used by the Spirit. We had such a musical start tonight with Tom. Does anybody remember the Carol King song, Only Love is Real? Remember that song? Tracing a line till we can define the thing that allows us to feel only love is real. It's a beautiful Course in Miracles song from like the I think late 1960s, maybe early 70s. Carol King. And tracing a line till we can define the thing that allows us to feel only love is real. The ego made all the images of this world. You know how in the Bible it says, hold no graven images before the Lord thy God. We thought maybe they were like totem poles or statues. We kind of had small. It was talking about the entire cosmos. All of the cosmic images were made to veil over the face of Christ, were made to veil over this divine love. So hold no graven images before the Lord thy God means don't ever hold an idol image, something that was made to take the place of the Creator, ahead of the Creator. Um, there's actually a workbook lesson in A Course in Miracles where it says, I choose the second place to gain the first. And the thing about Jesus, he was so humble, and his humbleness, you know, why do you call me good? He was always pointing at God with everything. Because he was so humble, he wasn't claiming to be the creator, he was claiming to be a creation of God, created in the likeness and image of God. And he was showing us the way to be humble and to really come into our magnitude by seeing that we are still as God created us, not as the ego tried to make us, as an image. We don't need to try to improve the image of ourselves because we were created as, as spirit. So to me, that's really important. And the ego not only made all the, the images, but it, it put them on a timeline. So it turned the images from this simultaneous thing. It's, the Course says that the separation was answered as soon as it arose. So the Holy Spirit already handled this image-making stuff. It's already handled. It's, over, it's a done deal. Salvation is already accomplished. But as long as we keep trying to string them along in linear time, which God did not create, and the Holy Spirit is there to undo, that's where we get into making idol images, a self-concept of ourself, uh, as a person on a timeline. And it's very stressful because we keep comparing the person to other persons, or we even compare our personal self to, oh, I, was, I had a, a better time then, or oh, it was a great mystical experience I had 10 years ago, and why haven't I had another one, God? Are you holding out on me? But it's all <laughs> this timeline stuff. It's all just holding on to timeline images. And so, my experience has been when I give it over to the Spirit, and I let the Spirit pour through me and just use the symbols and use the symbols, it's like a rinse cycle. My mind gets rinsed and rinsed and rinsed. And in this last 25 years, quarter of a century, I've been traveling around the world and just letting the Holy Spirit smile through me and laugh through me and hug through me and speak through me. It's, it's a rinse cycle. It's a Jesus Christ rinse cycle. Uh, you know, and, and He likes to leave the rinse cycle on until it gets clean. Until your mind is completely clean of error. It's really just rinsing error from the mind. So we're really excited to take on that topic and use that topic tonight because the Course was the path I used to get happy. You know, to heal is to make happy, he says. And then now I have fun using music and movies and all kinds of exercises, experiential exercises, what have you. Music festivals, you know, we do all kinds of fun stuff, but it's all through inspiration of having a clear and open channel that's not blocked. So the inspiration is, is easy. It's actually easier to be happy than it is to be in fear or doubt or struggle. It's amazing.